Hi everyone, this is Gwen with the Freebirds, and so I wanted to do a video on the remodeling of our travel trailer. Now the travel tra trailer we have is a Keenstone Sprinter, it's a 2008, it's the 311BHS model, it has two slides and it's a 35 foot. And make sure you check the description of this video, it'll take you a link to my blog and it'll show you where I got everything to remodel this RV. Now this travel trailer was like the perfect layout for our family. Now at that time I was pregnant with our fourth child and we were really looking for a layout that the kids had their own room, which was really important for us. So they have a really big bunk bed. You know, our master bedroom's a little bit smaller than we wanted, but the you know, their room was really important for us. That was on our top of our list. And then after we got a travel trailer, we decided as a family we wanted to remodel it so it felt more like a home since we were going to live in it full time. So before we started the whole remodeling process, the biggest thing I used was Pinterest. I had a Pinterest board, I pinned everything I really loved and that's how I really got everything organized and put together. Now the first thing we did was take those flimsy blinds off and the ugly curtains and headboards and and the ugly wallpaper off the wall and then we started taking the cabinet doors off and the hinges and knobs off and so we could start the painting because the biggest in this whole remodeling thing the biggest project was the painting the walls took two layers and then the cabinets took about three to four layers so each layer you have to wait to dry to reapply so that was the longest time consuming part of the whole process now the first room I'm going to talk about is our master bedroom. Now the yellow on the wall is actually a lighter yellow than what is shown in the photos. And I went for like a bird theme so you see the bird knobs and there's birds on the headboard which is just a stick on that I put on and it turned out really cute. Now the next room I'm going to talk about is our living room which is the most important room of the RV. And we decided to take the dinette out so we could have a bigger couch. So I bought the couch and actually the table too from Craigslist. I repainted the table. And if you can see in most of the rooms, there's those fabric bins. Um, I painted the post for those and my girlfriend sewed those bins together for me. She also did all the sewing for the curtains and the door. So spray painted the light fixture red. And if you see in the photos, there's these cute little decals on the walls and, and little frames things that I use double-sided tape to put photos on the wall. And all those decals I got from Etsy. By taking that large dinette out, it gave us a lot more room to work with in that living room. Now across from the living space is our kitchen, which is one of my favorite areas because I love the turquoise and the red together. Now our kitchen didn't come with a lot of storage space so I decided to buy a kitchen cart and actually it came red and then I you know remodeled a little bit, add the little stickers on it and change the knobs and it has a paper towel holder on the side there's extra storage space and we kept all our silverware and our plates in there. Now my favorite items in the kitchen is the dish rack the knife holder and my kitchen spoons that are right in front of the oven. You know, anything I got in the kitchen, I went for something that collapsed or, you know, it was easy to store to save some room. And also in the kitchen, you can see the tile by the stove, which was super easy to put on. It didn't really take that long and it's really easy to clean and it was, you know, it was a really good touch to add. I wanted the living room and the kitchen to feel like two separate rooms even though it was one big room. So I kind of kept the same colors a little bit that kind of connected them together, but they also had their own little theme colors to themselves. For decorating to me, the little details go a long way and I got most of all my little cute decorating from Etsy. Now at first we didn't change the flooring of our RV. But later on, we actually changed everything to laminate hardwood floors, which to me was a big difference. Now, one of the most important things we did the RV was change out those blinds and curtains. So we got um, blackout blinds that are really thick that we got from um, Lowe's that we got custom fit. And also all the fabric for the door blinds and the window blinds, there is a blackout fabric sewn on the back of them. So during the winter, it kept it really warm in here. And during the summer, it kept it really cool. 
Now, originally the RV has these wood sliding doors between the master bedroom and the living space. But I decided I wanted to make curtains instead. So one side has a different print to go with the kitchen living space and the other side goes with the master bedroom. Now in the hallway to the kids room, we decided to paint that blue. We added these really cute stick on trees and the kids had fun putting all the red birds and then the bathroom door, which the bathroom door I painted white as well. And then we add that cute family quote on the back of the door. The next room is our bathroom and I have a lot of bright colors going on in here. I added the tile uh, by the sink and then there's those fabric bins on the wall which was really handy in that room. And then I changed the shower curtain and then I ch painted the cabinets and it really is a really nice bright color feeling room. The next room I'm going to talk about is the kids room. And I really wanted to go for colors in the room that kind of would go with boys and girls. So I really like the look of the turquoise and the lime green together. The lime green and turquoise went with their bedding, their curtains, which we added so they had their little extra privacy. And also their toy bins were those colors. And then on the, each of their bunk bed they had those stick-ons on their walls. And so, and they each, you know, had their special theme. Like Faith had dragons, Hope had like butterfly theme, and then Chris Jr. had Star Wars. So each of their living area was personalized for themselves. There was also glow and dark stickers on the ceilings for them. And they really loved the room and it was just perfect for them. And also you can see in the kids' room those picture frames I was talking about. You know, super affordable. They stick on the wall. Um, that I haven't had any issues of them peeling off. And then I print out pictures at like Walgreens or Walmart. And I use double side tape and I post them on there. And you could like take them off easily and then change them up. And it was just really cute. And this remodeling project for our family was really big. And, you know, we took one day at a time. We learned so much. We came really closer as a family. And that made that transition from a regular home that we had to an RV a lot smoother. And it really got us excited about this new chapter of our life. Thank you, everyone, that took the time to watch this video. We have a lot of more videos coming, so feel free to subscribe. We're actually in the process of converting a school bus into an RV to be our new home on wheels. And we have a lot of great stuff coming, and I hope you get to remodel your RV 